welcome back to DIY Yolandi. My name is Yolandi and as you've read from the title, today we're doing a friendly guide on how to drill into wood. So as I've shared in my previous videos this year that my focus is really going back into basics, doing smaller projects, just walking with you guys throughout this journey of learning how to use power tools. If you would like to know how to drill into wood, type of drill bit to use, what is a countersink hole, what type of drill bit to use, and preventing your wood from splinting, and most importantly, the do's and don'ts when it comes to drilling into wood, then stick through this video and don't forget to like, comment, and hit that share button. a drill is one thing but knowing how to drill into wood and using your drill are two different things and that is the purpose of this video so linked down and linked up here in the card I have a basics guide to how to use a drill to attach a drill bit different types of drill bits that they are in this video today I will not be sharing that information um, I will not be going into detail with regards to a drill because I do have a video where I went into in depth with regards to a drill so you'll click the link down in the description box or up here in the card after you watch this video you want to drive in a screw into your wood the old school way it would definitely be either a flathead screwdriver or a star screwdriver the old school way it would definitely be either a flathead screwdriver or a star screwdriver both of these serve a similar function or just the only difference is that a flathead screwdriver screws in a nail head that's got a flat head and a star screwdriver screw that has a star head these are ideal for small screws a drill also works the same function the only difference with the drill is obviously its power so here we have an AEG 18 volt percussion drill most cordless drills come with a drill bit and the drill bit has a star edge or a flat edge you will then insert the drill bit into your chuck and then drill the screw into your wood whenever you are screwing in a screw into your wood you don't ever want to do this the reason for this is because your screw dances or rather sometimes it also jumps and this then may cause injury may cause your wood to split you never screw in your screw into your wood without creating a countersink hole. This prevents your wood from splinting and it prevents the screw from dancing. So I've now inserted a drill bit to drill a countersink hole into my wood so that my screw can go easily through the wood. So as you can see here, the screw has gone through the wood without us pre-drilling, the wood has split. And in the screw, we did a countersink hole where we, we first drilled a hole before putting in our screw, the wood is not split. Now should you have screwed in your nail into your wood and you've realized OMG, I have screwed in in the wrong position. What you should do is put your drill into reverse. So you press down this button and then you hold your wood or you can clamp your wood down. Gently press your trigger, roll your trigger and 
since your drill is on reverse, we will gently take out the screw. Now I'm going to show you how to create a countersink hole. So a countersink hole is, in layman's terms, basically hiding the head of your screw into your wood. What you'll need is your drill bit, drill, your nail, clamp your wood into place, as you can see by its tip that this is a wood drill bit, we'll use two wood drill bits, one which is the size of your nail and then the other one which is approximately four sizes bigger than your smaller drill bit as this is what you'll be using to create a counter sink. So this drill bit is a size 5 and this one is a size 10. On the actual drill bit there are numbers on them. I want the screw head to sink into the wood. I am going to mark off like half a centimeter of the tip of my drill bit. This is to be my guide as to how far my drill bit will go into the wood. The screw head has sunk into your wood. And here you will then put in wood filler to cover the hole. I hope uh, that you have found this video to be useful, but most importantly, I've, I've, I hope that you that I have been successful um, in actually making it very beginner friendly. Uh, and when I say beginner friendly, I I have purposely not used woodworking terms. I have purposely not used terms that are used in woodworking because I just wanted it to be easy to understand, to be bite-sized and that's why the video is not so long. The key thing for you that I want for you to grasp in these videos that I create on this channel is for you to practice. Practice makes improvement and and the more you practice, the more you allow yourself uh, to learn and to use a drill. I actually look forward to seeing you doing a DIY yourself. You know, it's beautiful, it's cute that you are always cheering me on. Be like, oh girl, you're such a boss queen with that power tool. Oh girl, I loved what you did there with that mirror. I love what you did with that couch armrest. That's cool I love that I appreciate that you know because when you see me do those things you also see a part of yourself do it because I'm female too right but for me what is key is for you to practice the things that I show here so that we could together create beautiful pieces that we can look at around our homes and enjoy so I say this to say I need for you to get yourself a drill, whether it's a quarter drill or a cordless drill, get yourself a drill and practice. Practice. I need you to practice. And don't forget, power tools have no gender. See you next time. Peace. Here are some bloopers. Um. What else? And how, and preventing your wood from splinting?